Why do rabies patients bark? Hello and welcome to our enlightening discussion about an often misunderstood disease, rabies. Today we're addressing a fascinating, yet distressing phenomenon sometimes associated with rabies. Why do rabies patients exhibit behaviors like barking? What is rabies? Before delving into this specific behavior, it's essential to understand the disease itself. Rabies is a deadly viral disease that primarily spreads through the bite or scratch of an infected animal. Rabies virus affects the central nervous system, especially targeting the brain, causing inflammation, and leading to a variety of symptoms, some quite severe. Symptoms and progression of rabies Symptoms of rabies can be categorized into two phases, 1. The prodromal phase, which might include fever, vomiting, and changes in behavior. 2. The neurological phase, where severe neurological symptoms such as agitation, hallucinations, and abnormal behavior appear. Now, you might ask, where does the barking fit into this picture? This brings us to the critical topic of our discussion. Why do rabies patients exhibit unusual behaviors like barking? The root of this behavior lies in the virus's profound effect on the brain. When the rabies virus reaches the brain, it causes encephalitis, or inflammation of the brain. This inflammation can lead to various neurological abnormalities, including disruption of normal behavior and motor control. One such behavioral symptom associated with rabies, particularly in its later stages, is making sounds or movements that can resemble barking or other animal-like behavior. It's important to clarify that it's not that the person is literally barking like a dog, but rather, they might produce throaty or guttural sounds that can be misinterpreted as such. The viral impact on the brain can result in difficulty swallowing, leading to unusual sounds when the patient tries to speak or breathe. Additionally, the patient's mental status can be severely altered due to the disease progression, leading to hallucinations or delirium, which might contribute to these unusual behaviors. What does this mean for prevention and treatment? Understanding these distressing symptoms underscores the importance of preventing rabies. Effective and timely post-exposure prophylaxis can prevent the onset of symptoms if administered shortly after exposure to the virus. Unfortunately, once the symptoms appear, rabies is almost invariably fatal, emphasizing the crucial role of prevention. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the effects of the rabies virus. We hope this discussion has provided insights into why rabies patients may display unusual behaviors like making sounds that can be misinterpreted as barking. Remember, the best weapon against rabies is prevention. Be safe, and don't forget to vaccinate your pets.